That's great. Yeah, I mean, the the Nets did a lot of gimmicks in the early Brooklyn years. Uh, I mean, I went the one game I went to was the Biggie banner when they put up the banner of Biggie and they had Biggie's white mom there yeah. on on the court and Puffy came and it was just like uh, it was it was cool. I mean, I went and it was it was cool to see, but it was just like it seemed a little like you're trying too hard. You know what I mean? So, well, so I get that. Yeah, and I think uh, what what we noticed during that time, they and Mike can tell you this better than I can because he really felt it. They were completely tossing the New Jersey connection yeah, aside. Right, right. Truly. I, it was a conscious effort. And the last three years, mm -hmm. something has changed. They have embraced their history more. You'll see guys, Buck Williams and Kerry Kittles and Derek Coleman and the Kenny jerseys Anderson. Too. The jerseys also, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Otis Bird song. So going back even to that stretch of time in Nets history. And it's nice to see mm -hmm. because there there was there was successful basketball prior to Brooklyn. And it should be celebrated and it certainly should be remembered. But uh, you nailed it, Alex. And the early going, they went so far the other way yeah. to try to pump up Brooklyn right. as the brand. And now they've settled into, no, it's the Brooklyn Nets. It's not just Brooklyn. It's also the Nets. Mm -hmm. 